sadly, today will be the last episode of Novaween. We had 13 projects and 13 amazing things. And the last three days, three the last three episodes, I dressed up as a Halloween character. I'm a huge fan of Tim Burton. I do love the Mad Hatter. One, he's a sewist. So let's give it up to you. There's not a lot of whole sewists in Disney period. I mean, we got Peter Pan having some sewing action. And we have definitely... Um, um, no caps, no caps. We have that from the Incredibles, but there's not like a whole lot of people, which is interesting to me because in like the Marvel Universe, a lot of the superheroes create their own outfits and they have to sew. I can go on about this forever. <laughs> but so today we're going to be like, why is a raven like a riding horse? This will be the, <laughs> this is going to be our last one. So if you're first time here, welcome. My name is Nova and I do weird stuff. All the time and it's, I like to sew and craft. If you're returning, thank you for sticking with me this last past 13 days and hopefully you were able to get projects that you've never seen or done before. Today we're going to be making a simple but always needed bowl cozy. In this bowl cozy everything has to be cotton. So my thread is Aurofil and I believe it's, I want to say it's the 30 weight because the 40 weight has the orange. I think it's either 30 weight or 40 weight. It's the one with the white rim and it's purple. And my bobbin has cotton. My needle is a 7010 organ needle. You don't need a very big needle. It is essentially like quilting. So we're gonna make this bowl cozy. I use in this, um, I use uh, pinky shears. If you don't have pinky shears, you can grade the seam. We're gonna use a 1 of an inch seam allowance so you can do one one having a half, uh, one fourth of an inch and the other one having one eighth of an inch and it will help grade the seams to flat, lay flatter. Um, today I am going to be using this beautiful cotton. I went to my quilt shop and they had, they, they had, and I'm still freaking out about it. Um, they had this beautiful little women's, little women. Oh, I'll put it down here so you see it. Little women. I'm also going to take off the jacket because you can hear me that's my jacket, yeah. So let me just take that off real quick. All right, <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. So what we have is a little woman and I was like, do it. Cause they have all the characters. They have Beth and just, I love little woman. It's a great book. And all the recreations have been fantastic. So what you're gonna need is two pieces of 10, 10 inch square cotton. You can wash it, you can steam it, whatever you wanna do. Again, you're gonna make sure that you have to have cotton thread and what I'm using is zap zap and zap and shrink it's all cotton batting you do not want to have any polyester because then it does not be you cannot have it in the microwave um I still don't recommend it in the microwave it's like take it out of the microwave and immediately put it in this however there's other things you could do with these bowl cozies you can um take them and they could be popcorn holders candy holders while you guys are watching a movie could be so many things. So my um, zap, I, Kendall, can you just go over by that square ruler? I, I know the first part says zap. It's in the plastic bag. Wrap and zap. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, babe. So we're gonna do this um, nine inch and it kind of sticks. You can use adhesive, but again, think about it, glue, food, microwave, it, you don't want it, but the wrap and zap, look, it just, there's no, I have no gluing, no nothing. It's just sticking. So that is going to be a nine inch square on top of the 10 inch square. From there, you're going to go draw an X. You don't have to draw an X. If you can, if you can sew from one point to another, then you're great. But if you're like me, that's like, oh God, <laughs> I need to see a line. Here you go. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. And this is a regular big pen that you can wash out of your clothes. You want to use things that just keep in mind that this is your food. If you're planning on using this for food. However, this would be fantastic um, to do at a craft fair, holiday mart. People love these. So what helped you make, it, make this today? Why, why did you choose this today? I wanted something to end with the bang. Like a small bang. We did... We had bags, we have aprons, we had um, lanyards, 
we had mug rugs and I wanted to do something that has been really popular since like 2016. I remember watching Nancy Notions, Nancy from Nancy Notions, rest in peace, um, do it. And I've always wanted to make it, but the main reason why I wanted to do it today is whenever my husband is serving me soup or something and he's, he like, if I'm in the work room or if I'm upstairs writing or do whatever, he has other minions on giving me the bowl. And I was like, Hmm. Maybe I should make some co bug, um, some um, bowl cozies. And then I started being, going on Pinterest and looking at all these people and their um, different methods. And they all kind of have the same method, all cotton. And I'm just going to bring, I'm going to chain stitch it. I am going, I my stitch length is at a 2.5. You can increase it to a 3 or 3.5. My needle is not very big. It's, like I said, 70, 10. It's usually what I use when I make um, garments. I have your scissors. And then we're going to go down and do another one. I back stitch. I'm following that green line. I can't stress this enough. Cotton, everyone. Cotton. Don't go, Shinova, my microwave exploded. I used Tex 40 weight polyester thread. I'm going to be like, I said, like eight times. <laughs> War I should have hope, but warning. I <laughs> use all cotton products. <laughs> and back stitching at the beginning and end. So, <laughs> we're, we have our two X's. And then now we're going to take this trim. And I'm gonna, which, what camera will be better for them to see how I do the measurements? Okay. So I have a couple of measuring tools here. Um, we are gonna fold the first one in half and we're gonna go two inches in, but one inch up. All my stuff wants to stick together. Two inches from the fabric, not the um, batty. Two inches in and one inches up where the two one inch you're going to mark the mark and then you're going to make another mark on the two inch and then you're going to connect them connect the dots. La, 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 la. okay <laughs> um i used to watch a lot of peewee's playhouse i'm sorry my mom and dad <laughs> okay so we're going to put a line two inches in one inch out i will write what squares I use, I'm going to write in the description that they're 10 inch squares, nine inch batting squares, and that you need to measure in two inches and go one inch up and connect it. Then we need to go again and we need to fold it the opposite direction. Make sure everything is lined up. What I like about this is if you, these could be great sellers, these would be great family gifts. Imagine like your family's over for Thanksgiving and you made them each their own little cozy, like with their favorite football team or sports or um, favorite movie. By the way, in the comments, write down what, can you tell me in the comments what your favorite Halloween movie is or what your favorite movie is? My favorite movie of all time is The Labyrinth with David Bowie. And my favorite animated movie is Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, and so therefore it, they become, Nightmare Before Christmas is like a twofer for me because it's Halloween and Christmas. So, you know. But I, I have like a lot of different favorite movies. I definitely have genres. My favorite scary movie. Whew, I'm a scaredy cat. I get scared easily. But I love all the um, Resident Evils. I know, I know. <laughs> I have a fear of zombies, but there's something about the Resident Evil movies that <laughs> really like I like. Ken Kendall, what's your favorite scary movie? Wow. On um, the spot. Yeah, on the spot. Raw. I'm not, it's not like Oprah. I don't have you on the couch asking you like I don't know. why do you pick this religion? I'm <laughs> you have to have a favorite scary movie. You might have to judge me for that one. You don't have a favorite scary movie? I don't know what tales from the hood. No, that that was that was I, that movie terrified me as I can. I I watched it once and never again. You know what other movie scared me a lot as a kid? My dad liked the one thinner. My dad would watch that on repeat, and I was like, I'm never eating pie again, like never. 
<laughs> um, I did for like more old, newer movies. I actually liked the it part one and two. I thought they did that so well. All right, so we drew all the lines and we're going to go to over to our machine and we're going to sew on the lines that we drew. Back stitch at the beginning and end. What's the name of that movie where the kids have premonitions about what's going to happen? Like something's going to happen on the roller coaster. Oh, um, Final Destination. Yeah. That movie messed with my head. Yeah, that, that's one of the ones that messed with my head pretty badly. My, the, my, the character that scares me the most to this day and even as a kid is Freddy Krueger. Because you have to go to sleep. You have to sleep. So why do they do that to me? You have to go to sleep. Plus anything with clowns. Yeah, man. I haven't seen most of the movies with clowns. Okay, so. So, yeah. What started my, my me being afraid of clowns? Which, there's interesting backstory to clowns. Like, there's a whole gesture thing. Because clowns have, like, been around for a long time. And they're terrifying. Um, but, again, my dad, I think he likes horror movies. He, he used to also watch... Um, like the clowns and they came down and they invaded and they came out in bubbles oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> yeah i was not the one my, my parents despite what they said if they see this they like scary movies because i remember a lot of them when i was a kid and i was like man why so we have part of our bowl cozy it's just like this one and i'm going to show you how you can make this a twist if you don't want the sharp pointy ed edges in a minute we got to finish this other one so yeah, no, um, the labyrinth is, it could be because I watched it a million times when it had its 30th anniversary. I went to the, um, to the cinema to see it. I just, I don't know. There's just something about Sarah that is relatable. I mean, if you go back to my original, um, meet my room, you can see that I have the door knockers. I, so I have a pattern to make Ludo. One of these days, hopefully in 2003, I'll take some time and just sew him together because everything that I sourced out for him, it's going to be an expensive sew. So I really want to make a Ludo. That's, I love that movie. Um, I want the, I like everything kind of tempered into like, I could watch Beetlejuice on the regular. Frank and Weenie. I think the first Candyman. No, see that? Probably was Things that are realistic and scary. Because <laughs> I had yet to go to a mirror and actually do it. Yeah, I'm dude. I'm no. I'm That's how I feel about La Llorona. It's like um, it's a Hispanic story about this woman and how it's just like a horrible story. If you guys ever want to have like story time where we're just sewing something that we're all familiar with and we're just like sewing and vibing together, I know a lot of stories. Um, my uncle, he works for, in, uh, San Pedro and he works for like this really cool boating place and he has so many boat stories and haunted ships and all that stuff. All right. So we have our, our boats, like our things like this. Now we could do it exactly like this where this bowl could fit perfectly and it could fit a six inch bowl, probably about three inches deep, like standard soup bowls and cereal bowls. But if you want to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you. Just make sure everything lines up when you do it. And you can use your scissors. You can use pens. You could take a bowl or cup, whatever you have handy, and you can round the corner corners. So you could take it and you can just round it. Um, but so I'm going to just take the scissors and because they're they're together. You can use this on a, use a rotary blade. It'll help tremendously. But you can cut it with your scissors if you're here and you're like, hey, I don't have my thing. I'm just measuring. I'm just rounding the corners. All right. So look how that, that's super pretty. Looks like a little flower. 
<laughs> okay, so we have this. Let me do this on the same on this side. And you, it's easier. You just take, I'm taking it, pretend this is a coffee mug. And you're just lining it up to the edges where you want it to be. And you draw. Then you hold your part. And then you cut. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. You can use a coffee mug, tea mug, whatever you have available. All right, so we're gonna put right sides together. So one of these has to be, they go inside. And then we're going to make sure our seams match and we're going to fold them opposite sides. So having them go opposite sides help flatten out that area pop a clip in this or you could pop pens because you're using all cotton see how I, I'm stressing that again <laughs> oh, got it. and then I'm going around just doing this and we're going to leave a two inch you can use a one inch hole if you want or a two inch uh your choice Dilla's choice all right, so I'm gonna mark where I wanna have my two inch opening. I'm gonna do it right here. So I'm going to start and stop at the marks that I made and just use a one fourth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, and this is my stop point here. Back stitch well. And for a good measure, I just like, I literally backstitch over every, um, every like little dart. Because that's the area that has the most material. You can use a stiletto if you want. I'm just following the curve and making sure all the raw edges are with raw edges. You can use pens, clips, whatever is easier for you. You could probably do some really cool shapes. I rounded them, but what if you wanted them extra pointy? Have it black. I mean, oh yeah, there's just so many things you could do. And just raw edges together. The great, like I said, the thing about the batting that is is funny is that it little the zap and wrap batting kind of wants to just stay together like no moving and then you basted it with your ex so i'm still out i want to get more of this little woman fabric from this shop because wouldn't it be awesome to have like a dress or an apron from little women it's just that's so cool back stitching over my start point and what I do from here is I cut I cut the threads and then I'm going to grab my pinking shears take the clip off maybe where I have the opening I'm going to make a V so I don't cut I always keep making like the smaller holes when I should have made it bigger. Okay, so I'm going to start pinking around. Not going in my stitch line, just making it go down to like one eighth of an inch. Pinking helps the, with the fraying and it helps the fabric lay neater. You're just doing one eighth. It's not. It's not a whole lot of big snips because we use the one fourth of an inch seam allowance. I think this is a really cool holiday gift, or just fun. Like if you're having popcorn and watching movies with your kids, like I like. My, one of my favorite cartoons um, to watch is Bob's Burgers, and they always have like a cool Halloween one, and they always have like a cool um, Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm gonna go 
this episode. I do. I watch the Treehouse of Horror. Like I wait for the the marathon, but now it's on Disney Plus, so I, I don't have I don't have to really wait. The my kids, they were like dying on some of the Halloween ones. They were just they thought it was like the funniest thing. I'm having a hard time finding my opening. Yep, I'm str the struggle is real. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I I know it's here. I didn't sew over it, but you know. There it is. Okay. Um, so we're gonna basically Could you have made it any smaller? I I mean I made the whole like you should do like a two to three inch. I just hate having a big gap. If you if you set it with iron immediately after you turn it, then everything will just be peachy king. Oh, so I thought about another movie that I really, 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 really like from way back in the day. What? Fantasia. I didn't like that. I mean, I know Mickey's making it mops. I, I know people don't hate me or unsubscribe because I didn't like that. I didn't, and I'm a Disney like fanatic, but it just didn't keep my attention. When I saw it back in the seventies. Yeah, because that's <laughs> I wasn't even born yet. But go ahead. At the movie theater, it was like the most colorful thing I had ever seen. Yeah, I mean that's how people I guess feel about Snow White that are older. <laughs> <laughs> older than me. Oh, way me. older than you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I no, I don't even know what my first Disney movie I seen in the theater. My, like my parents, whenever like you know, I'm a truly a '80s baby because when my parents went to the theater, um, they would uh, usually see movies that they wanted to see. Like I remember seeing Forrest Gump in the theater. It it it's not a kid from. I had a lot of questions, but it's not. Um, but yeah, it's not super kid friendly. But I've seen it in the theater. I've seen when Alec. Oh God! When, remember, do you remember the movie where Alec Baldwin, or was it Liam Nielsen? Taken. I think it was him. Where he was Shadow. He was a character. It came out the same time as it. My dad didn't want to see it for because Gumpy wanted to see that movie where like this knife is magical and it's like sh I forgot something Shadow. And then he liked it when on VHS. Yeah, I've seen a lot of movies that are questionable. Like, I will be like, yeah, you guys couldn't see that. That's bad. Like, the reason why I think Die Hard is a Christmas movie is because my dad would sit there and watch it every Christmas. That and Scrooge. But it is a Christmas movie. It is. Both of them. The first two. It totally is. So we're going to top stitch this at one eighth of an inch. I was going to show do a Gremlin one today, actually. I have an idea for that. For like a Christmas stocking now. Because Gremlins is technically a Christmas movie. Because Mowgli was given to the boy as a Christmas gift. And even in the second one, when the Gremlins came out, they came out during a Christmas party. I showed the girls Gremlins like two or three. I think it's when you guys went to, um, you and your dad and Kendall went to the Ravens game. They were like, I really want to see the Gremlins. And they were like, oh no. They were like all infatuated with, um, no, yeah, Gizmo. And then when, <laughs> when the Gremlins came, they were just like, what? Why are they so ugly? They're like, yeah, you can't, feed. it's basically death. You can't feed it. No light, no water. So I don't, I don't know how it's alive. I mean, I feel like <laughs> you need all these things as a human or any kind of species to be alive. <laughs> You actually could put some really cool decorated stitch if you have a domestic machine that has that option. And get these threads. One major difference between Nova and I is I like feel good movies and mm. feel good TV <laughs> and. She does not like okay. anything that can make you cry. Okay, that movie, the TV show that you watch, This Is Us, yes. it literally says in the trailer, it will make you cry. It will make you want to go. The, the, the literal the literal um trailer is literally saying that it's heart-wrenching. It's going to make you cry. I'm like, mm -hmm. why do I want to wa mm -hmm. watch this? I already, because I mm. cry over everything. Every year I watch um A Christmas Story and... um. Every time the bell rings, the angel gets its wings. I cry every single time. 
on George. <laughs> like, I, every single time when everyone didn't know George, I was like, oh my God. Yes, I know. I also cried in Scrooge. Like, when he was like, he finally seen how bad he was and how he had to change. Yeah, Christmas movies make me cry. I, and I think that's why I don't want to watch a TV series. That's that's what they're gunning for. Oh, yeah. That was, the, that was a great series. How cute this is, though. So we got some bowl cozies. Now when Kendall serves, like, gives me um something, you can be like, here, Shinova. No, the only thing it needs is a little loop. Ooh. So I can hang them up on the wall by the microwave. That is so smart. So what I would do for that is I would take fabric. Um, I'm trying to see if I have any. I would take fabric like we do with our connectors. I would get a one inch um, fold it in on itself and stitch it on uh, one eighth of an inch down, up and down. And then I would stick it either a loop here or in the middle where you can just hang it up because that is smart. They stack on top of each other. You can stick them in the cabinet. And again, this might be a really great gift for a teacher. You can put, for a teacher, I would like make a really cute one, like school theme. And because we don't know. For we, coffees and teas. Yeah. And then put like coffee teas inside here. Um, a gift card, Starbucks and like the kids saying thank you or something. That would be a really cool theme. Or like if you have a really good soup recipe, type it up and put it in there. I mean, I think that would be really cute. And I think. I feel like uh, these will do really well at craft shows and Thanksgiving. I think this would be pretty awesome if you put like one in front of it. Yeah, every when you plate. Have dinner, you put a, 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 a mug or a bowl in each one of them and say that's your gift. That, from us. Yeah, that that's would perfect. be just really that would really yeah. really nice. And then you can if you are good with embroidery beforehand, you can maybe put names or um, dates like 2022 so that way people know what year they got this but the loop is a very smart idea that is wicked smart and I think it's that's cool so today we did this so basically we're gonna break it down again 10 inch squares cotton um, you're gonna get you're gonna need 10 inch zap and wrap I use do not use like batting that is like not 100% cotton. I know it's tempting because it's actually way less expensive, but it has to. So just look for the wrapping zap because it's it's cotton that's literally made to go into the microwave. So you can go to the um, go to your you know your local quilt store supporting them brick and mortars. You get some fat quarters and it's very fat quarter friendly. You can get like probably two or three out of these with a fat quarter. So 10 inch square cotton nine inch batting x down the middle because it just secures it and it just looks really pretty on the outside and you you see you can either make it pointy you're gonna go fold it in half go two inch in make a mark one inch above make a mark connect them and that's where you're gonna sew in all four corners and you have your cozy bows these are really cute this one's mine <laughs> I love it. and then i did I, I picked up the flannel fabric i'm not too sure where who makes the flannel or the little woman's i'll try to find it because i showed uh, one of my friends and she was like where did you get this i only went to the quilt store because i was looking for certain fabrics for this and joanne's did not have any of the charlie brown that they said in the store so i was like well let me go give this quilt shop a shop it's like a stop by and they had the most glorious fabrics just um Water, spring water spring water spring water and it's here in maryland um i they do have an online shop it's massive um i haven't been in there since covid so i was really really excited to go there and actually like see and feel fabrics and little women fabrics i'm sorry that is just i don't know i like this this plot too i'm not gonna lie it's very grunge i kind of want to make a flannel with it and have like really smoky eye and be like yeah I don't, I don't know. So <laughs> today's Halloween. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun tricking and treating. And this is not a trick. At the stroke of midnight, something's going to happen. The person that we love to hate and hate to love, Mariah Carey, is going to happen. And it's officially holiday season. So look at these bowl cozy before you hear. Make my wish come true. <laughs> I'm not a singer. <laughs> so i hope everybody has a happy halloween and thank you for doing this with me i can't wait to do it again next year and look forward to doing some future videos
I hope everyone has a great day. Comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. It helps out tremendously. And if you want to buy your girl a coffee, there's going to be a link in the description box as well. Until the next time I see you, happy Halloween, happy Novaween, and happy sewing. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.